Yo, 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 what is up, Sauce Squad? It's your boy Victor, and we are back with another mukbang. Today we have Vietnamese beef stew, otherwise known in Vietnamese as bò kho. Um, I made this myself, let's get started. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up button. We're almost at 800 subs, let's go, y'all. So, here we have bò kho. So it's Vietnamese beef stew, it's with carrots. Um, I put chuck eye roast in there. And then there's like lemongrass, star anise, cinnamon. This is my first time ever making this dish. But this is just a homey dish because of uh, my mom used to make this all the time. So let's get started, y'all. Okay. So here I'm going to show y'all some of this stuff. I'm going to try not to spill. Do you guys see this? Ooh. It's so succulent. So I put this in the pressure cooker. And then you eat this with bread, too. So... This bread I actually just bought at like a Vietnamese bakery. Oh, it's so good. So the bread, you get the bread, you dip it in the sauce or in the soup, and then cheers. Mm. This is so good. Mm. So guys, Oh, let's get a piece of the meat and the carrot. Mm. This is so good. This is so, 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 so good. One, it's like such a comfort uh, Vietnamese dish. You can see all this meat right here. Oh, I put a lot of meat. I'm a meat person, so. Dip the whole loaf in there. Guys, look at that. Hmm. If you guys have never had a Vietnamese baguette, it's very similar to a French baguette, but it's a little like, it's a, just a little bit different. I couldn't even tell you what's different about it. But, it's really, really good. So, so my mukbangs, um, I've been eating a lot and uh, I'm trying to go like, I'm trying to lose some weight because like, so I'm in a relationship now. I don't know if you guys knew. I guess I didn't tell you guys, but now you guys know I've been in a relationship for like, eight, nine months now, but it's really taking a toll on my body because all we do is eat. We just love to eat. We love to eat, but we have a festival coming up. I have like, I'm going to EDC Las Vegas and I'm going with a ton of my friends, but I'm like coordinating the whole thing. So it's a little, um, it's a little um, exhausting sometimes, like just keeping up with everything. Because if any of you guys know or have ever planned a vacation, it's so stressful. Like I'm planning for like 15 people. So me and someone else are planning, I should say. Not my, uh, not my girlfriend either. It's one of my other friends. But it's so stressful. But with a music festival, I like to look my best because like a lot of times I go shirtless and stuff. So um, back w before I was in a relationship. It was so easy to go. It was so easy to go on a diet and cut cut weight. But now it's so hard. Cause all we do is like to eat and then like when I go to her when I go to her family family's houses um, they just like to feed me and it's um, sometimes it's considered rude especially in like Asian culture it's considered rude to like turn down food so like I end up eating a lot mm. 
Look at that. You'll see this one. Mm. But yeah, uh, so this means that for my mukbangs, I won't be eating as much. I'll probably be eating like a lot of keto stuff too, which might be interesting. You guys might like it. Like, I'm gonna do a Chipotle mukbang, but I'm just gonna do it keto. Or I'm gonna try to keep it like pretty carb friendly. Oh. This one's so crunchy. But yeah, I'm gonna do a Chipotle mukbang and just keep it keto because um, carbs make me bloat up a lot, so. I like the pieces with a lot of fat. This one has a lot of fat. You could tell by the, like, the clear. Mm. Oh, this is so good. But yeah, that's what's going on in my life. I'm gonna be eating less, but still filming mukbangs for you guys. Like, honestly, this could, this could be a pretty, pretty healthy meal if I didn't have the bread. But with this dish, you gotta have the bread. Mm. Mm, look at all that meat with a piece of bread. I also have some protein. Cookies and cream, whey protein. I just got back from the gym. Let's have a sip of this. Oh, oh, it's so good. I'm almost done with this bowl. Yeah, this is my first time making this dish. I followed... I followed a recipe I found on YouTube from a Vietnamese lady. Man, her recipe was so easy. I'll link it down below. So if you guys want to try to make it. Look at this, guys. Mm. 
All right, guys. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.